And now returning to our panelists, Gidon Israel and Yoram Ettinger. Gidon, uh, for you, it seems the Biden administration is taking a more politically conservative, conservative tone with the incoming Israeli government, but what's the subtext? I mean, what are officials like Blinken not saying? Because it's clear they're not saying certain things. Well, I think it. I think it remains. I think it remains to be seen. Um, I think. Uh, I think the fact that um, Blinken was the uh, main speaker at a at a J at a J Street conference already already signals uh, signals where the administration is going, and um, and I think that the administration, whether it be because of them being worried or whether because of people getting them worried about certain certain. Um, Parts of the government, parts of the new Israeli government. I think, uh, I think what I think it remains to be seen exactly the climate that they will be creating, but it certainly won't be uh, the climate that was under the last administration. And now I'm interested in hearing both of your takes on this. Netanyahu is certainly the longest-serving uh, prime minister in Israel, with many successes under his belt, including the Abraham Accords, fighting against Iran, and major economic free market development. But when Blinken congratulated Bibi on winning the election. There was clearly an audible hiss in the crowd. What are the main reasons that some American Jewish groups seem to have turned on him um, and still do not really like him? Gideon, you start. Well, I think, well, I think a lot of, um, first of all, the, the, the Democratic Party isn't what it was when, uh, when Netanyahu um, began his second stint as prime minister in 2009. It's uh, shifted very, very far to to the left, and I think the reason I think the reason that most Jewish groups are worried about this about Netanyahu forming another government is I think that they receive a lot of um, disinformation about about what Netanyahu plans to do and what the government will be doing, and it's very unfortunate. And I think that once they get the information, the, the real information about what the government is planning to do, the policies they're planning to implement, it's not uh, nearly as bad as they uh, perceive. Yoram, how do you see this? Well, it seems to me that uh, Blinken's uh, presentation, uh, the reaction, uh, highlights one of the key challenges of uh, the Netanyahu government in general, Netanyahu himself personally, and this is to educate, literally educate the secretary, educate Jewish leaders, educate major administration officials on the benefits to the U.S. from Israel's own control of uh, the mountain ridges of Judea and Samaria, aspiring for a Palestinian state would establish a Palestinian state west of the river, which would doom the pro-American Hashemite regime east of the river, which was then, which would then trigger ripple effects into the Arabian Peninsula, a, a threatening to topple every single oil-producing pro-American Arab regime, be it Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain which is a major reason for Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain to come to terms with uh, Israel. They don't do that because they love uh, the Jewish state or because they are convinced that the Jewish state wishes peace. They do that because they are very much aware that Israel on the mountain ridges of Judea and Samaria constitutes a major, major power of deterrence in face of Iran's ayatollahs, in face of the Muslim Brotherhood terrorists, in face of any Islamic or Arab terrorism, and Palestinian terrorism is part of that rogue Middle East elements which threaten pro-American Arabs. And it's time, I think, for Secretary Blinken to realize that while he offers Palestinian leaders red carpet treatment in Washington, Arab leaders offers Palestinian leaders at best a very shabby doormat reception in their own capital. And the question is, what do they know about the Palestinians that Blinken is yet to learn? Yoram Ettinger and Gidon Israel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.